The Washington Supreme Court has now opened up the door to force religious organizations to hire LGBT employees. We're going to get into all the details, guys, off the top. Let me just mention to you, I am now over on Rumble. Go subscribe to my Rumble page, the link down below. We recently lost our monetization, all of our revenue here on the channel. So we need your help now more than ever to help support the ministry. A couple different ways you could do that. One is through PayPal. You can make a PayPal donation. The link down below, you could do either a one-time or a monthly donation. They're both a great blessing to us. Or you could sign up on Patreon for as little as $5 a month. The Patreon link down below as well. But there you're going to get access to all my bonus content, my podcast, where I talk more about sensitive information, as well as the links to all these YouTube videos are now going up there as well. It's a great way to make sure you don't miss anything. I highly recommend it. And I got to throw a big shout out to Jen, Sister Jen, for becoming a $5 patron. Thank you so much. She is awesome. You guys, if you want to give her a little shout out in the comment section, I think she'd appreciate that as well. Also, guys, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and I wear the glasses because I'm blind. And we're talking about Washington State here. The Washington State Supreme Court recently reviewed a case from two years ago. Now, they have now reversed a lower court order that happened, like I said, over two years ago that stated that a religious organization, this was actually a homeless shelter called The Mission in Seattle, and they had a situation where they had an attorney that was trying to you know, get a job there with the organization. Again, this is a nonprofit. And they said no, you know, because he was a bisexual. So they said, no, we're not going to hire you. This doesn't fit with our religious beliefs and what we believe. And so he went and, you know, he did a lawsuit against them. But the lower courts had ruled in favor of the homeless shelter and said that, no, they're protected because this is a, a nonprofit. They have the right to hire whoever they want to hire based off their beliefs. But now this case made its way after two years all the way up to the Washington State Supreme Court. And now they have reversed this essentially and said that, well, no, this is discrimination. They have now kicked it back down to the lower courts for review. So the Washington uh, State Supreme Court, you know, not ruling entirely on this case, you know, reversing the decision, but we often see with these cases that whether it's a state Supreme Court or the Supreme Court itself of the United States, they'll often review a case and then kick it back down to the lower courts based off what that state or Supreme Court of the United States had to say about it as far as their comments go, urging them to make changes. So now it's heading back down to the lower courts and look, I fully expect that this is going to be reversed and that the gospel mission here in Seattle is going to be forced to hire this bisexual employee into the organization. Now, the bigger thing to look at here is that if that Equality Act gets signed into law and it's already passed the House and I fully expect it to pass in the Senate uh, and then Biden will sign it into law. And I've been warning about this now for the better part of a year. I said, when the Democrats have all control, expect this to pass. Now, it didn't go through the Senate last time because Republicans had control, but that's since been gone. So if that actually gets signed before the lower court makes a decision here, they may wait on whether or not to see if this is going to get passed or not. Well, then this will not only, uh, you know, become the, the law here in Washington, this, this employee, this bisexual man getting hired here at the Seattle Gospel Mission, but this is going to be the case for all religious organizations across the country. So, you know, even including churches, and I've talked about that in depth before, that doesn't matter what your religious beliefs are anymore, you will be forced to have to hire employees that do not agree uh, with your biblical beliefs. LGBT people, it won't matter anymore. So this is the road that we're going on right now, and it's a sign that we're coming up here. We're really, we're already here. We're in the last days. Christ is coming back soon. And as part of our ministry, we want to give everybody here the opportunity to receive Christ as their Lord and Savior because time is running out. So how do you do that? Well, it's very simple. One, you repent of your sins. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to actually turn from a lifestyle, a habit, whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the Word of God says. You believe that God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for your sins, and then you invite Him into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become a child of God. You become born again. You will have eternal life with the Lord. And there is no greater decision that you're ever going to make while you're here on this earth than to give your life and, and um, commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ. So I pray you make that decision today if you haven't already. What do you guys think here about the Washington Supreme Court's decision to kick this case back down to lower courts? Do you think that the Seattle Gospel Mission 
will be forced now to hire this bisexual employee into their organization. Let me know. Again, if you're able to help donate to us, all the links are down below. It is a great blessing. Don't forget also, check me out over on Rumble, that link below. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.